All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And I'm Brush. And today we are going to be watching Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Um, yeah, so we have stooped to a new... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're doing our zombie movies on the channel. Um, this came up. I know this is for a lot of you guys who are like, oh, you just watched 28 Days Later. This is not the same. Probably not. Uh, but it still kind of looks goofy and fun. I think I watched this like ages and ages and ages ago, but I didn't really know Pride and Prejudice, so I feel like I kind of missed the whole shtick. Mm -hmm. um, you haven't seen this movie at all. No. We've both watched Pride and Prejudice on the channel, which is kind of great. So this is going to be kind of a fun, fun marriage of the two. No pun intended. <laughs> it's a long night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gosh. A fun marriage of the two, like Pride and Prejudice, we watched a bunch of those movies, and our zombie marathon thing that we're doing here. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you for joining us here. As always, um, full-length reactions are going to be up on our Patreon. Next week's reaction, next week's zombie reaction is going to be up on our Patreon, whatever movie you guys vote for, this movie here. And, um, yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. Of course, feel free to throw some more suggestions as far as zombie movies in the comments down below. And let's just get into Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. All right, how's this zombie movie going to go? I mean, <laughs> of course I am thinking it is going to be... I think Darcy's going to be the origin of the virus. <laughs> Darcy. He just stares at you and you turn into a zombie. <laughs> okay. This is so, like, already epic. It is at least universally acknowledged that a zombie in possession of brains must be in want of more brains. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the freaking. Oh, dang! Crazy. It's so weird. It's like. During a whist party. <laughs> oh, dang. I, that makes me think you have something to hide. Yeah, well, obviously. We, once you say that, like, come on. There's been a report that somebody here has been bitten. Oh, dang. Has it been a zombie instant in Hertfordshire for over two years? <laughs> Until they've ingested their first human brains, at which point the transformation accelerates with every subsequent kill. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Because it's more like it's more like the thing or something. It's like kind of stealth. I'm still acting. I love the combination of like ridiculous polite society and like inspecting for zombies. Yeah, zombies. <laughs> this is already me. hilarious. Flies, mom. A big To detect. Yeah. Yeah. They're in uh -oh. possession of yep. one truly enviable talent. <laughs> the ability to detect their flesh. Uh -oh. I've the trick. Oh no. Uh -oh. Who is it? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, dang. Snap. Oh, snap. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Oh. This is like kind of hardcore. Is there anyone else present? A family member, perhaps. Okay, but can you trust them? Yeah, I mean, why would you trust anybody? Mr. Kinson's niece is here. There was no need to put that girl through Mr. Darcy's intent. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. Bro. Yeah. Bro, I've seen this too many times in zombie movies. Oh, oh that was cool. Ew. Whoa. The French were to blame. <laughs> Are you surprised? You were filled with an insatiable hunger for the brains of the living. This is a cool way to show this. This is really interesting. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are said to have ascended from hell. A one hundred foot encircling oh, yeah. Then excavation began on the Royal Canal. Whoa, okay, this is like totally fantasy. Yeah, this is so This cool. is crazy. Study the deadly arts of the Orient. Japan is <laughs> the 
China. Dang, that was epic. This is kind of cool. I'm kind of down for this, dude. <laughs> this is amazing. You recognize that girl from uh, Baby Driver? Oh, yeah. She's Lily James. Yeah. By a Mr. Bingley. <laughs> a young, single man of uh -oh. large fortune. Some things never change. He is attending the village dance tonight. This is concerned our warrior daughters, bro. You, sir, have already put them at a decided social disadvantage by insisting they do their combat training in China as opposed to Japan. The Chinese do the arts of no equal. I, for one, okay, don't throw this shade at Japan. <laughs> you mustn't speak like that, Lizzie. I should like to go to the dance. Do you think Miss Finley's handsome? No, <laughs> With Lizzie, come, Lydia. You think I'm fighting you? Come on. on <laughs> no. I don't care to be paraded like a herd of heifers at a farm auction. That's because you're the cow who's least proficient in the art of tempting the other sex. Dang. Okay. Me. Wow. <laughs> I must find husbands, Mr. Bennett. For as we know too well. Yeah, but they gotta be zombie fighting husbands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking dude. Let's go with that one, dude. Well, hopefully we don't have to use those. That's how you I'm go kinda, out in the zombie apocalypse. I'm kind of hoping we do use those. <laughs> I kind of feel like Bigley is going to be a terrible zombie fighter. I want to I feel like... Also, what does money matter in the zombie apocalypse? That's like what I'm wondering. Well, I mean, it still feels like they have like structure right that's true i mean they're still dancing they still got their estates right okay oh there he is <laughs> <laughs> and what's his kill count <laughs> the real questions i thought he was gonna introduce him as like the zombie slayer you know or something Engaged. I'm not engaged. <laughs> Smooth, buddy. To be the first refinement of Polish society. Don't you agree, Mr. Darcy? No, every service can dance. Why, I imagine even zombies could do it to some degree successfully. Or he just feels too awkward to dance. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's what I would say, too. <laughs> True. It's Especially a good cover. You're dancing with the only handsome girl here. One of her sisters is also very pretty. Dare I say, very agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darcy, your standards, my dear fellow. Oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. That sucks. <laughs> this camera it's shot. Funny. Yeah, this is this is sus. He's so high and so conceited, I can't endure him. Indeed. With him if you... <laughs> uh -oh. Dude, they're like conscious. Well, I wonder how far into the. Ew! <gasps> oh! Whoa! whoa. Guys! But you shall not laugh me out of my opinion. You pose no threat. Yo! What about her? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I think I remember this in the original. The freaking power walk as they're like going. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. Wait, where'd all these guys come from? Oh, what dang. happened? I just love how they have like the giant white gloves and the dresses too. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh snap. <laughs> in a dress? Surprisingly muscular, but so much as to be a thinner. <laughs> I 
time for shit straight from the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is so great. Good humored, lively, handsome, and quite rich. Which a young man ought likewise to be if he possibly can. Not well, it doesn't hurt. Well, they're just training. Other way. Watch out. Above you. Oh, below! <laughs> of course, Mary's the best. <laughs> oh! Mother, I really would prefer the carriage. Jane, Mr. Bingley undoubtedly likes you, but in nine cases out of ten, a woman had far better show more affection than she feels. Enough. <laughs> I see these lines so casual. I, I will never get used to the zombie drop in this movie. Bro, you just got one pistol? Uh oh. Oh. Bro, no! Freaking horse! Gotta wait for it to get close. Oh shoot! He's freaking huge. I think. We're, oh, I think, I nice. Think we're good as long as there's no other ones. Oh jeez! Quick, quick! <laughs> huh. Was that just the start of the journey? I think so. Oh, ew. There's gonna be a baby. Oh, no. That's creepy. I wonder what's... What, what is with these zombies, I don't though? know. Because, like, she's, like, taking care of it like a... Where is she? She must be closely monitored and our room locked. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I detest illness. Keeps one in a continual state of inelegance. Quite. Okay, thanks, lady. Here we uh, Of course. Uh, Edmund, show us back well. <sighs> is she bit? I don't think she is. I'm not sure. She's... I don't know how much they're gonna vary from, like... Could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. She's gonna test it out, but it could be just from the cold. Yeah, it could be. Like the rain and stuff, right? If it lands, they're gonna fight. Oh. Karate kid over here. <laughs> the wound, doctor. I must get back fired. I see no indication of a bite. No. That was never in question. <laughs> <laughs> the passive aggression is real. You prefer reading to cards. I just got what they were speaking. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. May I inquire as to the nature of this discomfort? I'd much rather give you a demonstration. Oh. Music, singing, drawing, dancing, and modern languages. <laughs> She must be well trained in the fighting stuff. <laughs> it just goes straight. <laughs> and you know six such women. I wonder now that you're knowing any. Are you so sophisticated oh. your own sex? A woman is either highly trained or highly refined. One cannot afford the luxury of both in such times. I don't know, you're kind of pulling it off pretty well, Elizabeth. Have you not read it in its original blue dialect? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, they're getting sophisticated. <laughs> Moon changing she's sipping back. Oh, snap. What? It feels oh, like, dang. um, it actually just feels like some sort of, like... I mean, they're literally using dialogue from Pride and Prejudice and then just interwining, like, interweaving it with some other stuff. Yeah, so, like, part of the plot, almost. Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, it just feels like some sort of, like, fantasy series, like, to be honest. A little bit it does. And it also kind of feels like a good, like, I know this sounds weird, but, like, a good, like, play that somebody would put on. Like, uh -huh. kind of goofing a little bit, but, like, still pulling it off. Oh, you gotta throw a ball. At Netherfield. Out of the question. 
The security arrangements are largely too brilliant. I do. Should be honored. Oh snap! <laughs> it's moving along <laughs> next. I know no one who is coming. The person of whom I speak is a certain gentleman. Okay, wait. I want to see how this I is. I hope like. it's him. He's the best part of the movies. <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see, like, what, <laughs> what kind of parody character he's like, you know? <laughs> How does this fit in a zombie? <laughs> this guy is, a, is from Doctor Who, I think. My patroness is not only the king's richest subject, the Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Dedicated to the annihilation of the Yo, I want to <laughs> see her. Bro. Lady Catherine to Bird. Yeah. Oh, oh, snap. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> she has one daughter, Anne, who is unfortunately of sickly constitution. Has Anne been presented? No. No, Mrs. Bennet. I have a talent, you see, for delivering these very delicate compliments of an unsolved air. Can you see himself at all in that now? Enchanted by your daughter, Jane, and requested to speak to her alone, if I may. Dane has already spoken for weeks, but a serious proposal imminently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the face! <laughs> is there absolutely no negotiating? That? This is yeah. way worse. <laughs> this is way worse. Oh, no, yeah, why, yes. She is very delicate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> You could just kill him, bro. Straight up kill him. He looks like a zombie to me. Every see it, okay. Oh my gosh. Penny McGregor's carriage. Someone's trapped inside. Is this supposed to be like the. That was a horrible accident. Um. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, dang! I was unaware that zombies possess the required acuity to set such traps. Before we know it, they'll be running for pardon. Yeah. That's not even a joke, though. Like, no. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if they can. Miss Lydia Bennett and Miss Catherine Bennett, Lieutenant Whitman. Oh, I hate him already. To deal with the zombie resurgence. I bet you're fearful, handsome in your regiment. <laughs> uh, Parson Collins. Are we able to admit the Phillips? <laughs> Walkers. I fear I have a prior engagement. Mr. Wickham. Yes, a judge. Okay, dude, she's so flirty. We were just on our way to Longbourn. Mr. Bingley, you promised you saw a pool at Netherfield. <laughs> I feel like Bingley is pretty good. We'll see. I kind of want to see him in action, to be honest. I want to know about... What's his name, Mr. Wickham? Of course. An invitation should be sent to all my fellows. Dude, look at him. Look at his freaking jacket and stuff. Excuse look at Wickham all oily, slick back hair. Yeah, I don't know about Wickham. Get out of here, like, bro. I don't know if he can take on a few zombies. His father treated me like a second son. I cannot begin to do justice to his kindness. But when he was slain in the second battle of Kent, Darcy ignores his wishes and gave by living to another man. What can have induced him to behave so cruelly? I'll be there. I <laughs> <laughs> like how surprisingly, like, the same it is. No, for sure. <laughs> like, if I did a little bit of editing, it would just be like a new Pride and Prejudice movie. Like, actually. Uh -huh. Like a different take. You literally. I think you just <laughs> forgot. <laughs> uh, he's got the moves, bro. He's doing thriller or something. Dude, he's doing some rendition <laughs> of something. Rendition of something, man. <laughs> Wait, he's going unorthodox, bro. <laughs> May I have an 
Oh. Wait, that was really well done, actually. It's my cousin. <laughs> Straight up, just walked out on him. You're rich, Jane Manning, didn't you? Found oh, Mrs. Bingley. Watch out! Don't be biting people. Yeah, Freaking Darcy's gonna, gonna be just gonna cut your head <laughs> off. <laughs> you can't be biting people like that. Sure. Oh, what the heck? Oh no. Great. Pingley doesn't know what he's doing. This is sick camera work. Oh, bro! Elizabeth! Who is this? Wait, this is like a strategy. Ew. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh let's go, Darcy. Oh, That's like a Mortal Kombat kill. Fatality, bro. Was he bit? Oh. No, he fell and hit his head. Oh, what the hell? Oh, your abilities as a warrior are beyond reproach, Mr. Darcy. And you were as good a friend. It's it's like uncanny how how the whole Darcy character like completely fits in a zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah. Like the skepticism, I'm like, I don't blame him, I get it. Miss Elizabeth, as soon as I entered the house, I singled you out as the companion of my future life. Oh no. I am uh, but actually I must add I <laughs> now, Miss Elizabeth. Allow me to assure you in the most animated language of the violence, the sheer violence. <laughs> Honored by your proposal. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Collins. Oh, no. You shall be brought to reason. Oh, good. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it, like, weirdly has kept the spirit of pride and prejudice. Your mother will never speak to you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. And I will never speak to you again if you do. <laughs> the best line in the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anything is to be preferred or endured rather than marrying without affection. Is he not going to the Yeah, this actual just, genuine yes this is not just a hey don't run off honey. <laughs> this is like a don't get eaten uh -oh. something happened i feel like the zombies actually have like a plot it's gonna be oh <gasps> it's the that's the four the four horsemen right it looked like that yeah i think so you vanished at the pool yes Dude, he's totally It's a hundred percent him. Did you happen to see four gentlemen pass this way? With crows circling? <laughs> but they were undoubtedly four bears. This is a cemetery. I want to take you somewhere very special to me. It's a secret place I've never shown another living soul. The zombie lair. Dude, it's like... Oh, great. What is it? The gateway to hell? Uh, I like... something. No. Dude, dude, it's a hundred percent like a freaking zombie turning ritual or something. Or I feel like just a zombie gathering. Oh, they're gonna turn yeah, around. They're gonna be all zombies or something. Oh! Oh, it is like Demon Slayer. Okay. 
Interesting. Okay. So, I don't know where this is going now. Yeah. Cause he, I have no idea where this I is thought going. It, like it was going to be more like he was way more clearly evil, but yeah, you know, I mean, he has some sort of like, if there's like way to make peace, I think maybe, but I am to be presented to lady Catherine. And if I'm to stay the night at Mr. Collins rectory, I will require a chaperone. I want to see her. And I want to see lady yes. Catherine, bro. I'll okay, come. but here's the question. Is she trained at the Japanese arts or the Chinese arts? Probably every art. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want somebody to, to drop some Oh, this is actually so cool. Lady Catherine smiting the undead Lucifer. Yo, that's so epic though, what? Why is it so epic? <laughs> Dude, it's a hundred percent a thing. Yeah, it's a hundred percent a thing. Oh, that's so interesting. For the second time they brought it up. Lady Catherine. So you are Elizabeth Bennett. Um, yes, I am your ladyship. Dude, she's got the samurai armor on the sides. Mr. Wicker. Is the film do you suppose? Oh no. Miss Bennett requested him that he might confer with her ladyship about a strategy with which to call. No, dude, this is the wrong It's person. all going down. I have given you interest in both these women in the kingdom. The rest is up to you. Wait, no, okay, this is literally the wrong person to go to because both Darcy and Lady mm -hmm. Catherine are like, you know. But the pig brains quench their appetite for human brains. Oh, yes, of course. The crown sponsors have been drained. You're here to solicit money. These new zombies can be reasoned with. With the proper I mean, funding, I believe we can cultivate... It's so reasonable, I actually hope, like, they don't ignore it. Well, as long as it's true. I haven't seen anything against it, but... They have no use for leaders. Oh, um, except one, actually. Hmm? Oh, well, um, according to the Book of Revelation, actually, the Antichrist, mankind, Thank you, Oh, well, okay. Franklin, are there more scones? Aristocrats? To what end? A treaty. Appeasement. Your ladyship, the undead will always multiply faster than the living and procreate. Nine months to make a baby, then 16 years to make a soldier, and one raw second to make a zombie. Yeah, he's got a point. I mean, it's, my only worry is that the he's, four horsemen... He's saying something. He's off. Well, the four horsemen, remember he was yeah. with them. Like, yeah. th there's something sketchy. I supported such a venture. Whoa. I haven't tolerated your presence here long enough, Wicked. Uh oh. Guards. We'll see. Oh, indeed, Lady Catherine. Well, I would like to say how dutifully behaved I think Lady Anne's been this morning. <laughs> a real credit to the crest, actually. Would you like a scone, dear? The MVP <laughs> is legit the, the funniest character so far. Harrison's feeling invincible within the great houses, but how wrong they are. Oh. And few of us will be there dying for. I feel like he's leading them. No, yeah, I mean, he probably let yeah, them yeah, into yeah. the place, right? So he's probably doing it again. It was Darcy that persuaded Bingley to stay clear of your sister and leave Netherfield. Why? Because he believes your sister to be inferior to his friend. Darcy brags about it with his intimates. Miss Bennett, okay. run away with me. We know that wasn't true in the original. Yeah. Did Darcy say that Bingley has to stay clear of which it was um Jane what's her name? Jane. Jane. There are some words I must say. <laughs> okay. Please do be seated. Here we go. The most iconic scene. Miss Bennett, although I know many consider you to be decidedly inferior, as a matter rough of start, rough start, rough start. Family. What feelings? Stop. I've come to feel for you a most ardent admiration and regard, which has overcome my better judgment. So now I ask you most fervently to end my turmoil and consent to be my wife. <laughs> what, bro? This came out of the blue even more than any other version. But I cannot. I never desired your good opinion, and you have certainly bestowed it most unwillingly. He kept saying, like, it's against <laughs> my better judgment. Like, what? <laughs> Might I be informed why? 
With so little endeavor of civility, I am rejected. You intentionally ruined the happiness of my most beloved sister. I did everything in my power to separate my friend from your sister. Oh my gosh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, getting real. I wouldn't do your sister the dishonor, though it was suggested. Well, to be fair, your mom was saying it. Yeah, <laughs> kinda. By your mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Collins, clearly. <laughs> Dear Mr. Elizabeth Bennet, I'm not writing to renew the sentiments which were so disgusting to you, but to address. This location on top of the roof is so beautiful. Yeah. After overhearing your mother coldly state her intention of having all her daughters mm. marry favorably, I persuaded Bingley of the unfitness of the marriage. Ah, okay. okay so okay. It's, just, it's just exactly the same. It, it is. It's literally the same. It was left to me, his son, to provide a merciful ending. Uh -oh. Jeez. Still, I gave Wickham the inheritance my father left. Fortunately, I was able to persuade my sister of Mr. Wickham's ulterior motives before it was too late. I hope this. Dude, Wickham's the big baddie. Yeah. He's the big baddie. He's ended up being he the... infected his dad, 100%. Yeah. He's in league with the, the four horsemen. Dude, he's he's the he's gonna be the antichrist. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm serious. But I can never hope to win your love in this life. And so I sought solace in combat. <laughs> I write to you from the siege of London. What? Wait. Um well look at him, bro. He's like single handedly defending. Yeah. Well, I mean they got the soldiers there. Gotta keep him in. Oh, it's dang. the opposite now. Jane, what is it? Wickham's run off with Lydia. She's barely more than a child. Bro. Oh, no. I know where she is. Oh, dang. This nah. is freaking pride of John Wick, dude. It's be detonated tomorrow at dawn when the last quarter withdraw from the end of the Our boys can't hold them much longer. All right, well, we got a timeline. Let's go. Bingley, you Dude. idiot! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Got him. Whoa. Whoa! Like actual zombie zombies. Sit on my zombie graveyard. Wickham has run off with Lydia. He's taken her to where his zombie aristocrats congregate. I fear I must depart for Bridge. The order must be given the first line, no matter what. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? Maybe he's gonna is go he gonna like, that. if he can feed them somehow, he can like break down the command? Well, I, I'm assuming he's gonna go look for the, uh, the sister. Whoa, they're like looking like Jabberwockies over here. Yeah, <laughs> freaking. Liz, London has already fallen, and the Grand Barrier burns as we speak. Uh, did she notice? She's catching yeah. on. London's over there. Which direction are you looking at, Mr. Bingley? Oh, you know. Darcy Bro. No one. There's no way nobody's guarding her. Yeah, come on. Like, this seems too easy. 
And to me, I'm like, what exactly is her purpose? I don't know. Oh, oh no, no, bro! Dude, that's... It's a trap, dude! You authorized me to offer you a commission of 10,000 pounds to return Lydia and leave England for good. I'm very glad of you to deliver the planet's offer, Fitz, but I'm afraid my answer is now. Look, I convince you to do the honorable thing, George. <laughs> that's a cool line. <laughs> you see, money is of no use to me now. Oh! Oh, they like freaked out! Oh my gosh. Now what do we do? Oh, go, 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 but the door open, the, the horse opened up the vent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, we gotta get a 1v1? Well, I mean, I don't even know if about just a 1v1. What about a... Oh, shoot, dude. Liz. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking Epic like <laughs> I like how Wickham's like dueling like he's British too. Oh, that's sick. Whoa. Watch out, there's tons of zombies. Come Come on. Where are the You're still they're fighting, either, bro. We're in the middle of like a freaking boss battle. There's no way we're gonna make it. <laughs> They've been fighting all night. <laughs> bro, he's got oh. the samurai sword. You're done. Oh, oh that's kind of sick. How much you want to bet he's a zombie? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're right. <laughs> oh, nice. You can blow it when they're at the yeah, bridge. Yeah, you can. Dude, you'll kill so many of them. No, wait till you see zombies. Oh no! Did we just we Wait, just saw what? them? Yo! <laughs> Guys, we couldn't have waited a few more seconds. <laughs> what? Come on. There's no freaking way, bro. Wait, is he seriously dead? I don't know. There's no way! Don't cut away to the panning crane shot! This is all rather embarrassing. And I would like to request the privilege of speaking with Mr. Jane. Hello. Mr. Darcy. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go, boys! You lay unconscious for so long that when we'd heard you risen- I was kind of hoping he was going to have some like dope scar or something. <laughs> hey, he was smaller. Hey, that was cool actually. I think that's like the first time. Like that little character, that was actually- Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. If it wasn't for you, I'd have surely perished. You have saved me in more ways than one. What? Your feelings towards me may have changed. However, one word from me now will silence me on the subject forever. You are the love of my life. Let's be mad. So I ask you now, half in anguish, half in hope, will you do me the great, great honor? Taking me 
for your husband. To join together this man and his <laughs> Let's go! Hey, it's been a bit. Oh boy. Oh, you got a double marriage? I now pronounce you. He's still a mystery kid. Yeah, he's just wearing the same leather jacket. <laughs> He's got to be edgy at all times. <laughs> you may now kiss Mr. Dorsey, the bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking kill me now. Dude, he's so good, uh... bro. <laughs> What'd you think? I mean, aesthetically, that's my kind of movie, bro. <laughs> I kind of had fun, not gonna lie. Dude, like, honestly, if it was, like, some sort of, like... I mean, the the plot, because of how it is, like, um, a parody of Pride and Prejudice, it's like, okay, like, it's kind of... Out of place, right? But, like, honestly... That's the funny part about it, though. No, it is, but, like, I'm talking just, like... Even though it was meant to be a joke, if this was some sort of, like, anime plot... <laughs> no, it, it that's for true. sure could be, you know? No, it's like, like the Victorian aesthetic. Yeah. You're totally right, yeah. actually. And that's why it does feel like, like you said, like some... Like a fanfic, you know? Well, especially who, because Loki, it, there's not... And no offense, but, like, there's not a ton of original stuff. Uh -huh. Like, it's just enough where they took the script of Pride and Prejudice and were like, okay, let's Throw tweak it. it. To... Let's make <laughs> this be a fight instead of just a conversation. Yeah. And, like, bam. No, yeah, it does feel like that. You know, like, someone was having fun. was like, bro, imagine if I, like, <laughs> right? <laughs> imagine if Darcy was this, like, edgy, a freaking like. zombie slayer. <laughs> Dude, the best was Lady Catherine. That was the best. <laughs> Lady Catherine. Was like, when they first cut to her, I was like, oh. Full on, just like hardcore, like, you know, one woman army sort of <laughs> character. That was kind of sick. Just the pain. I really liked it. Like, honestly, I would be so down to watch more stuff. Like, if we did like a Twilight watch like this, where it's like, look, I know it's not the greatest thing to happen, uh -huh. but I'm having fun with it. I would, that would be, I enjoyed it. No, this, I thought this one was really fun. This one was really fun. Yeah, I was actually surprised how, like, it was a halfway decent Pride and Prejudice movie. Like, I really was not expecting it. No. And it was, like, actually a decent Pride and Prejudice movie. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, this is a legitimate take <laughs> on Pride and Prejudice. Like, you know how there's, like, those different different versions? This is one of them. A hundred percent. You know, you might have had the zombie plot line and whatnot. But not but really that big. Honestly, like, everything was essentially the same <laughs> all the motives and stuff are basically you know spot on even if um what's his name uh wickham wickham was a little bit different not really though yeah like the we the, just got the duel that we always wanted in pride and prejudice anyway oh no, <laughs> yeah it's it it's just it's just a different take you know it literally is the title it's literally pride and prejudice and, and zombies and with the addition right <laughs> it's literally that and the acting was really good right yeah, actually that's the other thing like like if you take out the zombies the casting wasn't terrible no like it, I, like if I you were like hey it. making a pride and prejudice movie it's like well it's pretty good no i really liked like darcy was really good i, I thought I really bigley was his... okay that's where I feel like the weak, yeah, Bingley, like a little bit like, eh. Yeah, Bingley was, was fine. He wasn't as strong um, of a character um, when compared to the original. But honestly, like Collins and all of the main Collins like, was girls. Collins hysterical. Wickham was, was Wickham. Darcy yeah. was really well done. All the main girls. Like, I actually was so surprised how they let, like, like some of the most, like, I can't even describe it. Like, wholesome parts about Pride and Prejudice are, like, the moments where the sisters are, like, screwing around and, yeah. like, giggling. And, like, I like that they did that. Because I was, like, a little worried watching where it's, like, okay, like, it's cool they're warriors. But, like, that was kind of part of the charm of Pride and Prejudice. No, yeah. But they also kind of did that. No, they actually Like, the proposal sure scene with Collins. It was, like, oh, this is just... Like, if I showed you that and didn't tell you, you would never know it was in a zombie movie. No, yeah. Ever. Honestly, it's, like, the person who wrote it 
actually like really got Pride and Prejudice. You know, they understood like even like the things like with Mary, how they portrayed Mary. Like, yes. bro, it's like the the quiet kid. You know, she's actually pretty legit with her skills, but you know, she doesn't show up here, yeah, you know, as much because you know she's not the talkative type, right? Yeah, she. They like kind of got the the feel of the movie, like the essentials. They're like, yeah, you know, like. You know, not just, like, the basis of, like... No, it okay. wasn't just a parody. There was the spirit of. Yes, it wasn't, definitely. It wasn't quite, but there was the spirit of, which I kind of like. Dude. <laughs> I Yeah, I, I like that a lot. It was yeah, really that was good. fun, dude. Yeah, so um, thank you for joining us. Uh, as always, full-length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. Let us know in the comments down below. Like, I know this is a little bit of a different kind of reaction. Mm-hmm. I know some of you guys really like it because we take the movies really seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you want more stuff like this, like I'd be willing to watch Twilight and stuff like that. I can't promise I'm going to like take it super seriously. I'm not going to lie though. This is probably a little better. No, I'm saying like, this is our, (laughs) this used to be our like horror genre, right? (laughs) So I'm not sure like Twilight and you know, like. No, no, I'm just throwing it out there as options. I'm not actually saying like for this day. Yeah, not for this day. Not for this day. I don't, I, I, this is the farthest we'll go out of that genre. I want to kind of stick with the horror people, but, but I guess just since we're stuck doing this experiment, um, I throw that out there. I don't know if anybody's interested in that. Like, like like as a series down the line, I guess to kind of have a little bit of fun and goof a little bit with some like maybe edgy teenage movies. I mean, I can't promise that I'm going to like it as much as. No, of course not. But, but, like, it's not going to be like, (laughs) oh, it sucks. It'll just be like, oh, Uh, it's kind of dumb and funny. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. Throwing that idea out there. If any of you guys think it's interesting or something, feel free to comment down below. And uh, who's your favorite version of Darcy? Of all of them. We're counting this as the Pride and Prejudice. Give us your favorite... Give us your favorite of all of the of all of the the Pride and Prejudice things. Like, the miniseries, the movie, and this one. Compile your dream cast <laughs> in the zombie universe. Not gonna lie, I like this Collins <laughs> a lot. <laughs> this Collins for sure is on my team. Dude. Uh, and yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. As always, Full Length Reaction is gonna be up on our Patreon. Our next zombie movie, which will probably be a little more zombie for, for you zombie fans <laughs> um is gonna be up on our patreon as well this movie here and yeah um thank you guys for joining us here thank you for watching and we will see you all in the next video